Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Daniel Gandy. And I'm Jonah Mercado. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, and we are here with your morning announcements. Next week, between April 17th to April 21st, juniors will be participating in CAPS testing. Juniors who have not taken the California Science Test will take it this year. CAPS testing will be taken right after first period between 9.35 and 11.50 a.m. The football program is looking for student managers and statisticians for next year's football season. Interviews will be conducted tomorrow, April 12th, and if you're interested, please visit Coach Billings' room, HG5, for an application and more details. On April 13th, the third period of university will take place from 5.30 to 6 p.m. and include next step plans for both juniors and seniors going into college. And now let's pass it on to Tad for your wins and fails. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Tad Chubb. These are your wins and fails. First, a fail to Mike Tyson, who made the situation really awkward when he picked up Hezbollah during a podcast. It might not seem that weird at first until you learn that the person Mike is holding is actually a 20-year-old man with a hormone deficiency, which is why he looks like a kid. Hezbollah obviously wasn't a fan of this interaction and was quite uncomfortable afterwards. Next, a fail to FaZe, who just lost Snoop Dogg. And some of you might be thinking, oh no, Snoop was part of FaZe Clan? Yes, he was. He was on their board of directors, and he was a content creator repping their brand. Snoop leaving is probably related to the fact that the FaZe stock keeps going down, and in 2022, it reported an overall loss of sales. Next is a win, because the last ever Dream SMP stream took place yesterday. The Dream SMP has basically been dead for more than a year, but this really does mark the end of an era, because it started in 2020, with Dream, Snapnap, and George, and the S&P just took off, and it gave Minecraft another burst of popularity in the mainstream media. Finally, I failed at Activision for taking down what was a fan-made version of Call of Duty in Creative 2.0 in Fortnite. The reason Activision was mad was because a lot of people agreed that the fan-made version was better than the actual Call of Duty. This shows how Creative 2.0 has been really innovative and game-changing for creators out there, and it proves that it's the love of the fans that make the game not just the game. Well, that's all I got, Wolfpack. Back to Jonah and Daniel. Thank you, Tad. It's that time of the year again. Wolfpack Performing Arts is proper to present Ranked the Musical. Showings are on April 21st, 22nd, 28th, 29th. Friday shows will be at 7 p.m. Saturday shows will be at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Premium tickets are $15 and general admission is $10. Don't miss it. Seniors can pre-order a copy of the 2023 graduation ceremony on DVD or Blu-ray today on EGUS, www.egusdgrad.com. Orders will be only be taken online and will not be included in the senior payment plan. Blu-rays or DVDs will be shipped to the address supplied at the time of the order. Don't miss out on this captured memory. SWE is hosting Project Aspire again this year. Project Aspire is an event to help young women have the resources they need to be successful in a career in engineering. It will be held as a free and virtual event Saturday, May 20th, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. The Elk Grove Civic Summer is hosting a two-week seminar course about the local community from June 20th to July 1st, and a three-week internship with local public agencies such as the Fire Department, Communications, and Public Affairs from July 11th to July 29th. This is, the only, this is only for current sophomores and juniors. Applications are due April 17th, and for more information, please check your Synergy email. Well, that's all the time we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Dion Gandhi. And I'm John Mercado. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Poutine, Poutine Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.